set up. So I've got the cart this time, decided to sleep in it as the weather is a bit unpredictable. And, and yeah, the gazebo with some walls, um, tables, chairs, etc. everything you need. And if you go onto this side, you can see that I brought the um, dog fencing. So I usually put it around the side door to enclose it at night time. So when Harvey needs to get out, he can just jump out and either go for a wee or just have a look around and then um, hop back in. And I don't have to get up all the time. But um, let's have a look at the setup in the car. So as you can see, I've got um, bug nets on the outside. So they're great. I've got the windows actually open at the moment and there's a lot of flies around and none of them can get in. And I also have, if you can just see it underneath, the weather shields to make sure that um, yeah, at night time or even now no rain will come in. Let's start on the front seat. I use the floor area for my dirty shoes etc. It's got my sunshade for the front window which will go up soon to get privacy and protect from the heat. Um, this is a cube I bought from Amazon and it was about $40, $50 but it is great. It actually folds up very small into a very thin small square and uh, so it's easy to store and it's got basically everything in it that i need i bought quite a few merino tops so i can wear them for a couple of days without going smelly and, and yeah so in here i've got my toiletries i just chucked my pants in because it's so hot but um, yeah i've got my computer in here and my shoes were in that bit and then i've got these little packing cubes two of these one with socks and underwear and swimwear and the other one with shorts t-shirts etc an extra fleece in case it gets cold and yeah there's the second packing cube on the bottom i find this a lot easier than a suitcase or a bag because it can just sit on the front seat it's easy to access and um, easy to move in and out then let's move on to the back this is harvey's area he has in theory um he's got his bed here on the seat and I extended it with this box, A for storage, but B also, he's got a lot more room. If the weather turns a bit nasty or cold, I actually like to sit on the seat and um, at night time have the lights on and um, put my feet through the um, front there. And yeah, that's quite a comfortable setup. As you can see, my mattress is over here. It's a self-inflating mattress. I've got two. I've got this one, which is a Coleman, but I also have a um, Zempire one, which is basically the same system. They blow themselves up and they have a really good R rating. So they're nice and warm and comfortable. I nearly sleep better on them than in my bed. So I can only highly recommend those. I also have this um, memory foam pillow from Ecosa, which rolls up and fits into a little roll bag. Again, just easy to take camping and I don't have to worry about my pillow getting dirty etc and then I've got a um, minus five sleeping bag this one is the Pilbara C minus five cozy foot it's got this amazing um, fleece inlay so you don't have to wash your bag all the time you can just um, wash the inner bits or even just use the inner bit if it's too hot for the bag um, it does a real rating come more with a five degree rating so in minus degrees so when we go camping and it's really cold i actually have an even warmer sleeping bag at home and um, yeah so that's harvey's area and the side and as i said we use this to get in and out of the car because i've got an old two, uh, 2012 holden commodore and um, yes i can't get out of the back once i'm in it so side door it is for us and then let's go around this side we'll have a look at the back setup so this is this um here you can see again my bed the self inflating mattress which i still have to blow up a bit more my sleeping bag um then i've got a all powers um r600 power bank which is great if you want some extra electricity if camping off grid um powers your phone your laptops your fridge if you want to so um that was a really good deal on amazon as well and so far i've really really enjoyed it and then I did bring my hiking tent in case I need a bit more storage and the weather is bad and I need to hide something. Um, I also have my dusk um, car awning, which will give us a lot more shade. I'm just waiting to see what the weather will do tomorrow. And um, yeah, if it looks like the winter staying the way it is, I might 
put that one out as well just to get some extra shady areas i made my own um, car privacy shields aka um sun shields i just bought some five dollar ones from the two dollar shop and cut them down to measurements not perfect they need a bit of fine tuning but for now it will do and then my favorite bit in here is these two drawers they are from Kmart and um, they're the medium size and basically the top bit has all my um, I guess practical things in it like my camping kettle which actually runs off this power station which is amazing it's got some extra thermocell and mosquito repellents extra pegs oh it's got my most favorite lights I have got the hardcore hardcore lights and they look like if I can open them they look like little hot cross buns but they're absolutely amazing they come in quite a few different shades and in orange to not attract too many bugs and um, they're magnetic so you can attach them to your gazebo easily or they've got a little clip here I actually will connect two of these to my car and tonight and that way I have lights inside but don't have to worry about um, my car running out of battery they also come with one charger so you can charge them all at once and yeah they're quite nifty nifty um, invention cost around a hundred dollars at snowy's and um, yes give a lot of light so I can only highly recommend these I'll put them back in there because I need them soon and then in the bottom drawer I've got all my kitchen stuff cups glasses towels scissors plates cutlery i'm set up for two people at all times often friends come and visit so um yeah i always bring everything for two and if more people come i just have to repack but yeah this is really easily packed it takes me about half an hour at home and off we go and if i'm not staying this long or the weather looks a lot drier than at the moment i wouldn't even bother with um the gazebo i then just take the car one table one chair and oh and the dog <laughs> and then off we go and here he is hi Harvey he's getting a bit better he had a good swim so he's not as hot anymore and um, yeah I think we're going to be very happy on this side we do have the portable toilets just there unfortunately but they're actually quite good for windshield so I added the walls so I don't have to look at them at all times but yes as you can see and maybe here it's a great spot and um, yeah we are very very happy we can only recommend coming to Marengo Bay